Scott Morrison and his Indian counterpart, Narendra Modi, have committed to closer trade ties worth $280 million. The Prime Minister hosted a virtual summit meeting with India to strengthen Indo-Pacific relations in the face of Russia's unlawful invasion of Ukraine. But Mr Modi did not comment on the invasion of the country's neighbour, despite growing pressure from its Quad partners to take a stronger position. A suite of measures was announced as part of the deal, including sharing renewable energy technology, defence and space cooperation, and a new centre for Australia-India relations. Tragic loss of life underlies the importance, of course, of holding Russia to account. But cooperation between like-minded liberal democracies is key to an open and inclusive and resilient and prosperous Indo-Pacific. And I welcome your leadership within the Quad to keeping us focused on those important issues. A rescue operation is underway after a plane carrying 132 people crashed into mountains in southern China. The Boeing 737, operated by Chinese Eastern Airlines, was flying from Kunming to Ganzhou, two cities on opposite ends of the country. It was slightly less than halfway through the journey when the aircraft crashed on a hill in Guangxi province. Rescue teams are at the site of the crash. The number of casualties are unclear. Former Western Bulldogs player Brennan Stark is behind bars after being charged over a brutal attack in Perth. He's allegedly one of the culprits involved in the savage bashing of two young mothers, which has reignited calls for harsher sentencing.